Surgical Scrub Up and Gowning, a step-by-step -step guide. The purpose of the surgical hand antisepsis is to remove or destroy transient microorganisms and inhibit the growth of resident microorganisms. Hi, I'm Jonathan, I'm the new junior doctor. I've been asked to scrub up, but I've never done it before. Could you show me how? I certainly can, come this Thank way. Thank you. Preparation. When preparing to scrub up, ensure that you wear appropriate attire and make sure this is as comfortable as possible. This includes clothes, hat, masks and eye protection. Jewellery such as bracelets, watches and rings are to be removed other than plain band wedding rings which can remain in place. Nail varnish and false nails are also to be removed beforehand and nails should be kept short. Any skin abrasions to hands and arms must be covered with a waterproof dressing. Select an appropriate gown pack, checking integrity of the package and expiry date. Peel open outer wrap of gown pack, leaving green layer untouched. Select appropriate gloves and place nearby, ready to be opened by the circulator. Surgical scrub. Set the water to a suitable temperature and flow and open a nail brush packet. Okay, so we'll start washing our hands now. Okay. Throughout this process, the hands must be kept upright and bent at the elbows, allowing water to drain away, clean to dirty. Wet hands and arms thoroughly. Apply approximately five mils of aqueous scrub, for example, hibby scrub or viodine to the hands using your elbow to release it from the dispenser. A hypoallergenic alternative is also available. The first wash should take about two minutes and includes washing the fingers, hands and elbows, arms up to the elbow. To be effective, the aqueous scrub needs a minimum of two minutes contact time with the skin. With fingers interlaced, work palm to palm. Place right palm on the back of left hand with fingers interlaced. Repeat on the other side. Rotational rubbing backwards and forwards with clasped fingers of right hand into left palm and vice versa. Rotational rubbing of right thumb clasped in left hand and vice versa. Rubbing fingertips on the palms of both hands. Continue with rotating action down opposing arms, working to just below the elbows. Rinse thoroughly, keeping hands above the elbows, so the water always drains from hands to elbow. Take hold of the nail brush and apply surgical solution, approximately five mils again. Brush both right and left nails, but only the nails, not the fingers, palms or hands, as this can cause skin damage. This must last about one minute. The nails only need to be scrubbed on the first surgical scrub of the session. Any more often can lead to skin damage and colonisation. Again, rinse thoroughly, leaving hands higher than elbows. The last wash repeats the first, but this time only goes as far as the wrists to avoid compromising the cleanliness of the hands and should last approximately one minute. Again, thoroughly rinse hands and arms and turn the taps off with your elbows. Let excess water drip away. Do not shake. Keep hands higher than elbows. The whole process should take about four minutes. Gowning up. Moving over to the gowning trolley, open the green inner pack, ensuring you open away from your body first. Carefully, fully open a hand towel. Dry your hands by placing the towel in one hand and blotting the skin, drying on the opposite hand. Always start at the fingertips and work down towards the elbows using a corkscrew movement and then discard the towel. Never go back up the arm towards the hand with the towel. Repeat on the other side, ensuring hands are completely dry. Gowning is achieved by using the closed gloving technique. Pick up the gown and identify the neck area, then step away from the trolley. Using your thumbs and first fingers, pinch the top of the gown and let it fall. Do not shake. Ensure it doesn't touch anything. 
Unfold the gown and identify where the arms are to be placed and do so. Keep hands inside the gown. A circulator will now tie the gown at the back. Keep arms above waist level. With hands inside the gown cuffs, pick up the gloves in its inner sterile wrapper and then turn them upside down so the right is on the left side and the left is on the right side. With your right hand, place your thumb under the fold of the right glove, then flip the glove over onto the palm of your covered hand. With your left hand, grab the fold on top and pull up and over your hand. Next, pull gown and glove up your arm so that the fingers are in the correct position. Repeat this process with the other hand. The gloves must cover the cuff of the gown as this is not waterproof. Ensure gloves feel comfortable and fit snugly. Take hold of the gown pass card and pull the left hand tie out of the card, keeping hold of it. Pass the card to the circulator, being careful not to pull the remaining tie out of the card. Next, rotate 360 degrees anti-clockwise and pull the tie out of the card held by the circulator. Now secure both ties in a bow at the side. You are now sterile around your front and back. Keep your hands away from your face and above waist level. You are now ready to enter the sterile field. Once in the sterile field, hands should be kept at chest level at the front. Do not cross hands or put them under the axilla. When you pass another person who is scrubbed, try always to pass back to back.